the company, if you work like this in the different industries, you will be treated like a machine only. If you interact and if you take part in the activity and you apply your mind, then only you can see the growth. That is one important thing. Fine. Yeah, so what is sustainable building? The sustainable building is one which optimizes energy efficiency, conserves natural resources, generates less waste, uses less water, provides healthier spaces for people as compared to the conventional building. Fine. And another important thing I want to share that I uh, hope somebody has attended the ICI guest lecture what I have given long back during online for you people. I don't know whether you people have attended, how many people attended, I don't know the thing. So, even the thing, it is a good opportunity for me to share further outcome of my research findings, my students' research finding with you all. So, during that particular time, when I am giving the particular talk, so only we have completed 25%. Now, we have achieved 75%. So, that's why part 1, part 2, part 3 I have mentioned. Yeah, principles of sustainable construction, these are all the things, sustainable site, energy efficiency, indoor environmental quality, materials and resources, efficient water, these are all the important principles, fine. So, again, before going to jumping into the deep dive, into your ocean, I will give you some overview, how you can optimize, how you can achieve, so that is the thing I have given here, right, so then we will have a deep dive, right? So, usage of green construction material, that's why resource people for the past yesterday onwards, many resource person they are talking about and they highlighted about different types of materials. So, that is the thing, green construction material should be encouraged for reducing the emissions. Fine. So, green construction materials, here I want to ask you another one important question. Whether the green construction materials and green construction practice are, practices are myth or reality? What is your opinion? Both. Very good. Yeah, agree. Green construction materials and green construction practices are, it is a myth and also reality. When it is a myth, when it is a reality? In the initial phase, it is happening in the form of reality. When it is coming to the utility phase, it is becoming a myth. Right? Then what is happening in that? Greenwashing is happening. What is happening in that? Greenwashing. What is greenwashing? Huh? No. What is greenwashing? It is also called as green hashing. No, greenwashing is nothing but giving the false promise. Giving the false promise that particular material is a green material. Declaring that particular product is a green product. But in a realistic way, it won't be green. Very simple. Which I faced in my home. Honey, dabar honey or whatever may be the thing. Branded honey. I purchased. In the honey label, it was mentioned no added sugar. But during the winter season, the honey got frozen. Whether the honey will get frozen, and that also we can see the crystals inside the bottle. But what is given in the label? No added sugar. No added sugar. But what is the real thing happening? Greenwashing. It is a thing happening in all the sector, not only with respect to the honey. In all the sector, this is happening in our country. Not only in our country, in developed the country also. But in developed the country, they have taken several measures to curtail it. In our country also, they are taking it, not getting the shape. It will take some time. Fine? Yeah. So, next is recycle waste, reuse resources as much as possible. Yeah. Again, another one important term I want to highlight, that is what our Prime Minister also talking about, all our different ministries are they are talking about, 
circular economy. So that is the thing which is with respect to this recycle, reuse and resource conservation. So when you are utilizing the product means it is necessary the product must have cradle to cradle not cradle to grave. What is cradle to cradle? Cradle means what? Total kelly put the layer. You go there and go to the port of the day. So, cradle is nothing but a so cradle to cradle when you are producing, when you are using some product, that product once it is discarded, once it is thrown out, again it should not go to the grave. Grave means what? Sudgaad. So, it should not happen like that. But what is happening in the thing? Landfill. Landfill is a padaburi. That is the thing happening. That should change. That's why our Prime Minister talking about, all our department people talking about, pollution control officials talking about circularity, circular economy, all these things. Right? And Sar also highlighted about net zero. Net zero is one of the way. Right? Fine. So, Adopt efficient waste management technique, use electrical energy efficiency and switch off electrical equipment. I already, sir, has pointed out in the morning session. Use solar power, make use of wind energy and other things. Fine. Fine. Then, we are moving to the first component. I have taken up for my case study. First part of the case study, I will be dealing with materials. And because the reason behind this, several... Uh, experts are here with respect to the materials and many experts they talked about the materials in the yesterday's session and today's session also. So, I want to look into that particular aspect as a first part of the case study. Fine. So, definition, everybody know this definition, I do not want to repeat it. Fine. This is a very basic thing you have to look into it. Material selection. Very simple question I will ask you. You are constructing your house, right? You are constructing a house in Vellur, right? Your friend is constructing a house in Pune or Bangalore. Whether you are changing the material in the construction of the house, whether it is correct, whether it is correct, Actually, it is necessary that you have to change the material, not all the material, at least certain material you have to change. Because the topography, the climatic condition in Vellur is different, the topography and climatic condition in Pune and Bangalore is different. But which builder is looking into it? Which promoter is looking into it? What the builder, promoter and contractor they are looking into it? Profit. 100%, 200% profit, maximum utilization of space, optimum utilization of space. So, they will leave behind all orientation, all other aspect. But the days are not too far, the things are changing. As Sarah also pointed out, it is necessary, the change must happen. If the change is not happening, we can't achieve the goal. So, goal of net zero, goal of SDG, nothing can't be achieved. So, identify best in class product, do not forget to factor in performance and durability characteristics, verify green claims using third party resources. So, verify green claims, so that is the things are as pointed out. So, third party resources, there are many agencies are there which will do the audit. So, how you are doing the financial audit? In the same way, it is necessary that you have to do the green audit, energy audit, environmental audit, carbon audit water audit, all the things are necessary and the government is also changed the policy in such a way that to make it compulsory and connecting it with respect to the cost. That is the things are minded out in the morning. So, what is the three letter word? Very famous. Several three letter word are talking about environmental conservation, environmental protection, environmental awareness and other things. Another three letter word which is dominating all over the world is ESG, Environmental 
social governance. Okay, triple R is there. Triple R also is three or three letter word. Many three letter words are there. But now presently, all the places you can see the three letter word which is dominating is ESG. The reason behind this, the corporates mandatorily must have a sustainability lead. Like how the corporate, how the industry, they are having the safety engineer. In the same way, sustainability lead or sustainability manager must be there who will be looking into all aspects. Because now they have attached the growth of the company with respect to, with respect to sustainability. If you are doing activity in a sustainable manner, then only the company can grow. grow. Very simple. You take a recent case study, recent, not case study, recent example. One of the famous company who are in the top rank, right? And suddenly due to some reason, their shares fall down, right? Then within few weeks, you can also see the sustainability index of that particular company also came down. So that reflects, if you are not looking into the sustainability properly, then you, you can't do the business in the global market. That is the thing. Fine. So, identify your most important selection criteria. Compare products side by side. Get additional guidance from the suppliers. So, these are all some of the materials which are existing and which are uh, available. Fine. So, we are going to the main part that is the case study part. So, in that case study part, the thing is, I have made some objectives. So, even uh, Professor in the morning also asked about, is there any exact formula or data with respect to the carbon emission calculation, even we face the same difficulty in that. Because uh, we have taken, collected, we have searched many literatures and based on the literature, we have arrived at a certain value and using that value, we have arrived at the outcome of our result. But it is not an exact thing. That is the things are also pointed out in the morning. Because that, that won't give the exact findings or exact value. Because those things are with respect to developed countries. How they are processing, how they are doing is different. But what is the thing with respect to our Indian scenario? That is the need of the hour. But in future the things will, even in this study, the major difficulty what we have faced is, we are unable to get a live building details. We asked for different people, different builders, live details of the building. What is the floor area? What is the material used? What type of material used? What is the quantity? All these things we asked. But no one is ready to share the detail. Finally, one of the student father, he came forward and he shared the details. <coughs> and with the help of that, we have executed our study. That is the scenario. Right? So, identifying the construction material, majorly contributing for carbon emission. Suggesting alternative to reduce the carbon emission of the building. Suggesting strategies for sustainable construction. Carrying out a cost comparison involving both scenario. I think uh, what Sarah has pointed out in the morning, it was also covered at the last. But when you see the contradictory result with respect to the cost and the carbon emission, you will laugh at me. Sir, what is this? You are telling something, but uh, in the real aspect with respect to the cost, it is happening differently why it is happening, even that also we have given the solution in the case study 3, fine. So objectives, further objectives to find out the major source of responsible for carbon emission, to estimate the embodied carbon produced in the commercial building and residential building, the case study, the case study of the building what we have taken and to allow the more efficient decision making that could reduce overall cost of the project which includes incorporating 5R principle. So 3 are gone. Now it is 5R. So, suggesting alternative to reduce the carbon emission of the building, carrying out cost comparison involving both the scenarios. Fine. So, we have selected common building materials that everybody knows. Steel, concrete, plastering and painting. So, the reason behind selection is, these are all the things which are contributing more in any kind of structure. So, we have identified certain alternative materials. Some of the alternative materials are recycled steel, ferrock, gypsum plastering, low VOC, waterborne paints. So, among these alternative materials, the ferrock is a unique material and now, I think uh, Sarah has uh, done some research in that particular thing, graphene. 
So that is one of the thing which is dominating now with respect to the uh, low carbon emitting thing. So uh, ferrock, that ferrock is uh, also one of the thing which is carbon negative material which is not that much popular in our country but in some places they are using that ferrock and it is also acting as a carbon capture material. So that is also the particular material it is fetching. So what we have done, data collection, analysis, then estimating the carbon emission and interpretation of the result. Then, so as uh, sir has pointed out in the morning, so I think it is matching the value. What we have taken is more or less matching with the thing what sir has pointed out in the morning. So carbon emission factor 1.83 tons of CO2 per ton of steel and 920 kg of CO2 per ton of cement. But again, the difference will be approximately around 20 to 30 percent with respect to these values when you look into the realistic data, when you look into the real data of our country, real data of because cement factory to cement factory it will vary, steel industry to steel industry that is the things are told. Ultra tech cement they will adopt some process, Dalmia cement they will adopt some process. Arielur, the quality of limestone will be different. In Belgavi, the quality of limestone will be different. So, it won't be uniform. So, that will reflect in the thing. Then, paints. So, carbon emission factor 15 kg of CO2 per 0 0.3 litre of paint. So, what is the formula we have used? Carbon emission is equal to emission factor into quantity of material used. We have done the study and we have estimated. Then we have calculated the quantity of the concrete used in different activities of the particular building. Then these are all the approximate quantity we arrived at. Then, so you can see the emission with respect to the conventional material. So this is the emission we have arrived with respect to the conventional material. See very simple thing, You are. I am not using any uh, Pythagoras theorem or any kind of uh, integration or all these things. Simple formula, simple formula, simple thing, anybody can do this activity. That is the things are also told. You take your home, you take your room, you take your office space and estimate the carbon emission and give the strategy how it can be controlled. There are many online tools are available. If you feed the data, the tool will give you how much is the emission contributed by the particular activity. Then. These are all the alternative material, you can see the carbon negative and uh, what is the emission. And ferrock is stronger, more flexible, less expensive and carbon negative. It acts as a sponge that absorbs CO2. It is based on blending iron carbide, largely recycled material. So that is a ferrock. And then when you look into the alternative material, you can see it does not cross 1000 tons also. The carbon emission does not cross 1000 tons also. But why I am putting the word 1000 tons because we, we have not considered all the aspect. When you look into all the aspect, the emissions level will little bit increase. So this is the comparison. Then we can see approximately 80% reduction in carbon. Then there may be one uh, doubt that is ferrock, it is not available in the market other things may be available. So in that situation, how you can achieve the goal? How you can achieve it? The simple way is identify the sustainable materials which are available in your own place. Do not go to some other country or do not go to some other place. Right? So you identify the material which are in your local place. In earlier, our grandfathers, they adopted that strategy. We left all the things, we fall behind the concrete. Now everywhere we are seeing only concrete jungle, right? But that is not the only thing we have to, that is why again our Prime Minister come up with a thing, life cycle, that is life for environment. So that is a, another slogan, he is a, spreading all over the country, fine. Then next is, we have also estimated the embodied carbon, the same kind of material that is, this is another important part. So embodied carbon we have estimated and we find that again in that embodied carbon also 
alternative material, there is a huge difference when you compare with the conventional material. So that we have observed by your study. Then we have done with the cost estimation. So total cost and total quantity into unit cost this is the formula we have adopted. So uh, Sir may be wondering why you have taken up the uh, cost estimate with respect to Karnataka because the the case study building what we have got is from Karnataka. So we have taken that particular cost for our reference. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, we can see a difference, cost analysis of the conventional building is approximately, approximately how much? It is around 4 crore 36 lakhs 81,711.2, right? Then when you look into the alternative material, it is approximately, it is more than 40 to 50 percent higher, right? When you compare with the conventional material. So, I have taken only one aspect that is materials. That is also one of the reason why, why I got this output. So, this is a comparison. You can see the individual comparison. How much is the cost comparison? So, this is a... Yeah. So, this is the outcome of the study. Yeah, so first part we have achieved the thing and uh, we have also published that first part of the result in a very good journal. So if further if somebody want to have further study on that, you can go to the Google Scholar and you can refer this paper and you can do the further analysis. So this paper talks about how we have estimated the embodied carbon because what formula we have used what is the thing we have adopted for estimating embodied carbon, all these things are given in that particular paper. Then another part that is cost, cost also we have published in another one journal. So that is a thing, cost benefit analysis of choosing green construction material, a case study approach from India. So this is the thing we have done with respect to normal buildings and the conventional material, how it is happening, that is the thing we have made it. Fine. Now, I already told part 1, part 2 over. Now, I am moving to part 3. Okay, right or not? So, he is recollecting the some film. Part 1, part 2, part 3, some films are coming. Now, like that I am running the film. Right? So, that is the thing. Okay, fine. So, you can see here, understanding the interaction of the elements with the development, the first important aspect. That is the things are also pointed out in the morning. Before selecting the site, before identifying the site, before taking up the construction activity, first of all, you look into the site and how far that site is suitable to your part, suitable to your case and how you can take it forward without causing much impact to the environment. So that is the thing it was mentioned here. Understand the interaction of the elements with the development. You have to do the development, but you have to understand the interaction of the element. Interaction of the element means what? Panjabudas. So that Panjabudas interaction you must understand. Without understanding the interaction of Panjabudas, if you are venturing into the element, if you are venturing into the activity, then what happened in the Turkey? The same kind of thing will happen in our country also. Right? So it, all these things not happen very far, few days before. So next is?